Well, look what we have here. It's the all-new Smoke X-Cube Ultra. I'm surprised they didn't go with X-Cube 3. You know, they have the X-Cube 2. Why not the X-Cube 3? Or like the X-Cube cubed, if you will. But anyways, that's, that, that is not important. What is important is we have a new Smoke X-Cube. And if you'll notice, it does... I'm not sure what OTA means, but I'm excited. It does the Bluetooth thing. It's got the phone app, 220 watts. You know, kind of like the HPriv. And if you're interested, I did a review on the HPriv. It was long-winded, so I'm gonna try to keep this shit shorter. Temperature control, ergonomic, which means it works in either hand, kind of like they all do. It does the LED light up on the bar, and it, I don't know what that means, but I guess the construction manual will tell me. But without further ado, Let's get into it. You know what? I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to... Pow! Yes. We have... Very, very nice packaging. I love... I'm not sure if you can see this, but I love the way it's, like, shiny there. It looks awesome. And that's just the sleeve. There's the lid. And, oh... Of course, I got the stainless version because stainless steel is awesome. There's the mod. Let's see if it comes with any other happy stuff in it. Here's the upgrade cable. The verification information. The Smoke X-Cube manual, which I will read later. And yes... These are very important things. Pay attention. Qualified battery. Use them. And read the manual before you actually start vaping. Do not do like me and just jump right in. Now, I'm going to assume that it's... Jeez. Louise. That... No, okay. Strong metal. Two magnets and then it hooks it hooks into here do you see this thing here gets a little hooky hook hooks into that down here magnetic closure that is cool i really do like that especially considering the fact that my cooper 200 plus some of the magnets are coming out but this is a lot more secure got the battery ribbon for the two 18650s which i just so happen to have very clearly marked which way it goes Put some in. And I would love to show you. Oh, it vibrates. Ooh, and it vibrates. And I may end up showing you how the app works. If I can figure out how to, you know, do the whole screen grab recordy thing. But... For your viewing pleasure, I will pause this. I'm going to take her out back, enjoy this nice, beautiful Saturday morning, and vape on it. Well, we are outside now. It is a beautiful Saturday morning. Warm, slightly humid, but we can get past that. I went ahead and put my Limitless RDTA on here, and I've taken a few hits off of it. It's nice. Uh, hits pretty good. I do love the look. I know it's going to be a fingerprint magnet, but I knew that before I bought it, so I'm not even going to include that in the cons. One thing I will include in the cons, I'm not sure if you can tell this, but there's a plus button here and a minus button here. I press the minus button and, and the number goes up. The number goes up when you press the minus button and it goes down when you press the plus, the plus button. Probably just a defect easily fixed with a software update. Now, as far as any other complaints goes, I have none. The, the fire bar is a little stiff, but there's screws that adjust that. And I kind of want it to be a little on the stiffer side, so I'm not accidentally firing this thing, because it's a fire bar. Not a little button, but a bar. Which, if you've used the X-Cube 2, you've already used to that. I do like the LEDs, the LED things, which you probably can't see, because it's bright as hell out here. But... And it's a nice little uh, it's a nice little mod it uses the two batteries i went and put a couple in here i'm looking forward to testing out some of the other functions loki stopped shaking the table i have a dog that thinks that she needs to interfere with everything that i do even though she doesn't realize it i think she does but um 
I'm gonna take a few more hits off of this and I will use this thing for about a week and I will probably come back in one week to give you a full-on review. Thank you for stopping by. Keep vaping. Remember, F the FDA. But wait, little quick update. I realized the first thing I did when I got this was I flipped the screen orientation because I use mine like this and I like to be able to look down and read it. When you flip the screen orientation, it automatically flips the power up and down buttons so uh, I'm not sure if I like that or not but just a small note still may be a mistake don't know but I felt the need to make sure you were informed once again have a nice day